In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a trigger using the Mudlet client. A trigger is a way to automatically execute a command or a series of commands when the client receives text from the game. In my example today, I'm going to create a simple trigger that will just get sword and wield sword after I drop a sword. Alright, so as you can see, I'm already logged into Ikea with my test character. Uh, I need to get the exact text that the game sends when I drop a sword. So I'm going to drop, I'm going to drop sword. Alright, so there's the text. You drop a shining steel longsword. So I'm going to highlight that and then you can control C to copy it or you can just right click and click on copy. So now I have the exact text that I want to copy. Now I'm going to come up to the top and I'm going to click on the triggers button right here and that'll pop up my window. Alright, now I want to click add item to create a new trigger. I can put whatever I want in the name trigger. I'm just going to call this my test trigger. That's so I can keep track of it. Um, and now I want to put the text that I am trying to trigger off of in this position right here, the zero position. Don't worry about the rest of it. That's for more complicated stuff that we'll talk about later. All right. I then want to slide over here to where it says substring. And I want it to match this exactly. So if somebody sends me a tell that says you drop a shiny seal longsword, I don't want my trigger to fire off that. So I'm going to right click, I mean I'm just going to left click here, slide down, and I'm going to click on exact match. So I want it to only fire if this is sent exactly. All right, now what I want it to send is get sword, and I'm going to put in a semicolon to separate my commands, and then wield sword. Okay, there's some more advanced ways to do this, but this is the most simple way to do it. So we're going to stick with this for now. So now whenever I get the, the text from the game, you drop a shining steel longsword, the client should automatically send back get sword, wield sword. All right, so I need to save this by clicking right here. And now I need to activate it by double clicking on the checkbox here, or I can just click this activate button up here in the top left corner. All right, so everything's looking right. So now I'm going to go ahead and close my bot window there. And I'm going to come back to the game. Now that sword's still on the ground, so I'm going to grab it really quick. And now I should be able to drop sword, and the trigger should fire. So I hit that, and bang. You can see I've dropped the sword, and then the client automatically sends get sword, wield sword back to the game, and I get it, and I wield it. All right, now let's say I need to turn off my triggers for some reason. If you notice, there's this little circle button down here in the bottom right corner. If I go ahead and click on that, uh, it turns off my trigger. So now notice if I hit drop sword again, it won't do it, and I'll have to pick up my sword manually. So I'm going to turn my triggers back on. Let's say I want to delete that trigger. For some reason, I don't like it anymore. I go back to my triggers window, and I can either just disable it, by double clicking or clicking the activate button. Or if I just want to delete it altogether, I just highlight the button and click the delete button right here. And it is, as you can see, it's deleted. All right, so that is how to make a trigger or a very basic trigger in the Mudlet client. There's obviously some much more complicated things you can do. Mudlet is very powerful um, in letting you make triggers that can do virtually anything in the game. Um, if you have any questions about Mudlet or about the Mudlet client or how to use it um, in the Iron Realms games, you can go ahead and ask on the Iron Realms forums. Uh, or I'm even better might be to ask your questions on the Mudlet forums um, and where someone will surely help you out.